What's up, party people? I didn't know how to start that intro. I just went with the first thing in my head. Hip housing it up. Um, how's everybody doing? I hope everyone's doing fantastic. I hope your first few years of the new year have been nothing short of phenomenal. Please forgive the rooster over there who will be dinner tonight if he doesn't stop his crap. But, yeah, it is me once again. And who's that behind me? Okay, Amazon. Nothing for me, I know. Guys, I am here to deliver a message that I already delivered on my other channel. This channel is kaput. It is no more. Um, well, I shouldn't say it's no more because I will leave it up for whatever reason. And then if I feel like I need to take both channels down, I will do that. But this is going to be my last video for this channel. I want to say, first of all, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for taking a gamble and subscribing on me. I appreciate it. Um, I just hit 100 about a month ago, maybe a month and a half. I hit 100 finally. And that 100th subscription, I believe, goes to, that honor goes to my cousin Angie. Angie, thank you so much. I would have hated to go out on 99. But my cousin Angelina, my cousin Letty, my cousin Angie, you guys are amazing. And I thank you. And of course, my old school crew. Slim Pickens and Blossom Like a Rose. You guys have been nothing short of amazing. I think Blossom Like a Rose gets the Spirit Award for the most comments on any of my videos. A lot of comments, and I appreciate every single one of them. Thank you. We're going out on a good note here. I went and stopped by one of my favorite places, Asian Cuisine. It's a little... A little tiny unassuming food truck on the side of the highway so unassuming that I didn't even notice it was there all the times I drove past it uh, it's right next to the flea market I happened to be looking up something on Google Maps and uh, there it was Asian cuisine and I was like what there's a Chinese place near here because I've constantly told my friends and my brother, we need a Chinese place here. We used to have one here years ago, and now we don't, so we need one. And that place has been here, I think she said, seven years. Ah, I should have tore this lettuce up a little bit more before I started this. She told me when I first went there, this is a Vietnamese way of eating egg rolls. You take the egg roll, you tear off a piece, you wrap it in the lettuce, like so, and you dip it in the fish sauce, which is not sauce from fish, it's fish for sauce. Mmm. It is probably one of the better ways I've ever had egg rolls. A, a dead draw for that would be the spring rolls that they cut up in my uh, vermicelli dishes over at Full Garden. These are, without a doubt, some of the best egg rolls I've ever had. Ever. Their uncle used to run that Chinese place that I said was here years ago. Called China Sam. His egg rolls were phenomenal, dude. 
There was so much meat in them. I'm so used to having like tons of veggies with a hint of meat. And this was the complete opposite. His pork egg rolls were to kill for. Do I really need to describe these? You can hear how crunchy they are. Somebody needs a little lettuce. I've had so much fun on this channel. I did it just strictly for the fun of it. I noticed, hey, you're eating anyway. Why not talk about it? When I started this, I was roommates with my friend. And, oh, that's good. Jasmine iced tea. Very good. And she would encourage me to, you know, make the videos and stuff. And I'm like, okay, I will. So those early videos you see, that's me at her apartment. Since then, I've tried a number of new things. I've tried a number of old things. I've introduced a few things here and there. But all the time, I had loads of fun. Lots of fun. Now, this isn't going to stop. Um, it's just going to be for this channel. Because the new plan is to combine the two channels. Mr. Cinema Junkie, which was a movie channel. I talk about movies, I talk about collectibles, posters. Mainly horror. Once in a while, something else would slip in, but mainly it was a horror channel. Didn't start out that way, but that's what it wound up being. And then Eat, Drink, and Be was just the joy of food and drink and existing in a state of happiness and bliss so why not join the two it's two things that i enjoy eating and movies i'll tell you the name of it just before i end this video i also got some lo mein i've never had their lo mein before so this will be new for me Shrimp lo mein, excuse me. A little burp there. A nice crispy vegetables. You got some red bell pepper, green bell pepper, onion, and shrimp. Mm. A little on the spicy side. A little on the spicy side. Caught me off guard. It's got mad flavor. I love the texture, the crunchiness. Not an absolute smorgasbord of shrimp, but it's enough, I guess. There goes that damn dog from next door stealing my stuff again. It's a little ratty looking pug dog who comes into my yard and then 
proceeds to bark at me like, what the hell am I doing here? Like it's telling me to leave. Little bitch. <laughs> But the new videos, I'm, I'm hoping to do more on-site videos. Do the whole thing wherever I eat. But it's kind of tricky to do that these days because, you know, with the COVID thing, a lot of people are scared, a lot of people shut stuff down. So I may wind up going there. Getting some food. I should have opened up this picnic pack to get the napkin out of there before I started. Oh, well. I'll, I'll get the food there, like curbside service or something, and then I'll probably still be in the car. But that's going to be... It's already off to a rough start. Let me just say that. This is not my car. It is borrowed. So a lot of times I'm at the mercy of the owner. I guess when they run errands, I could get dropped off somewhere if the place is open for din dining room. But there's never a guarantee of that. And then there's always the thing of if you get there and you set up and they're like, hey, you can't record in here. That happens sometimes. I never understood why. I never understood why. I'm like, what do you got to hide, man? I'm not talking about you or anything here. Everything I say is positive. But when I went to the Brick House Tavern, I had two waitresses come up to me like, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? I'm looking into a camera and I'm talking to it. What do you think I'm doing? Moron. But I don't, I don't know what that was all about. They're acting real weird about it. Like, oh, what do you got going on here? What are you doing? What? First of all, if I'm talking to the camera, I'm recording. Why would you walk up right in the middle of my recording? No. Now I usually ask before I start recording. Just let them know, hey. Got some stuff I want to record. Uh, is that okay? And then if I get the okay, I'll tell them. Go ahead and hit me up with a, with one refill. And then, and then I'll, I'll let you know if I need anything else. Like, don't come up to the table and talk to me while I'm doing this. Sometimes it works. Not a bad dish, I gotta tell you. I've never had their little main. I gotta say this is pretty damn good. So I already have like two places picked out for my first videos. And I have movies that I've already been watching. So I can do my reviews on those. I don't even know if I would call them reviews, but more just like talking about them. I know that sounds like the same thing, right? But to me, a review is kind of like you either make or break the movie with your score. I'm not looking to make or break anybody. I'm just trying to, you know, yeah, I saw this movie and this is what I thought of it. That's it. That's all it's ever been. Probably steer away from grading it or thumbs up or thumbs down or any of that stuff. Maybe not even waste anyone's time with a bad movie and just talk about the ones I thought were good. I don't know. It's still in its early stages of planning, so we shall see. The egg rolls automatically get 
nine, ten for me. And listen to that. That's just goodness right there. Mmm. Look at that meat. It's the first few days of January and still, look, I'm in a t-shirt still. And it's hot in this car. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> God bless Texas. If any of my friends up north decide that the liberalism and the cold weather is too much to take, Texas is calling them. They know how to make sweet tea. That tea's sweet. Super sweet. It's like syrup. I like it. The lo mein, I'll give that an eight. I give it an eight. It, it's solid. It's a solid dish. I like it a lot. It's not a very big meal, but it's a satisfying meal for sure. So, yeah. That'll do it for this review and for this channel. I'm not going to make any more videos for this channel, as far as I know. Unless I make one more video for each channel telling everyone, hey, go to this channel instead. We'll see. But I hope I'll see you all there. I hope I hope I, I we get to continue this little soiree. And you don't have to jump between channels to get what I have to offer. So that'll be a good thing, right? Right. So thanks again, everyone. Appreciate it. You guys are beautiful. God bless. Take care. Happy eating. And again, thanks for these years of support and, and patronage and input. And I'm thankful to the friends I've made. And I look forward to delivering a better channel, a better product with all of you in mind. And if anybody else jumps on board, hey, great. And if not, it's all right. We'll be okay. So until next time, guys, take care. God bless. And I will be talking to you all real soon.